Yo, 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 what up, man? We back in it. Man, we back, man. What's this, part three? Yeah, third time's a charm, man. Man, facts, man. What's up, man? You, you, What's good? Man, you back in the bullshit? Always, man. I just be vibing. You be vibing, man. Man, not bothering nobody. So I'm, I'm, I'm here and say cheese broke. You broke. The label broke. What's up, man? The money running out? The money running out. Damn, I'm, man. I'm, I got to sell everything now. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let's talk about it, right? So... I look up, I wake up one morning, or one day I look up, and it's going crazy. Gucci Mane says, say cheese is a broke label and a broke blog. blog. And so I thought back to it, I'm like, why would Gucci Mane go at the shine? So what happened, man? Like, what did you do to mess with Goo Wop, to bring out the old Goo Wop? Man, I don't know. Um, Cause you know, I, I have a team of people who post, so I didn't post the, the, the post, um, under the post, I didn't post the actual post. Yeah. So people are like, I'm noticing like way more people like commenting and like tagging my personal page. So um, I look, and I'm like, damn, like Gucci commented. So I, I clicked on it to see what he what he said. And then um, that's what he said. You know, he said, Say Cheese is a broke blog label. And we posted his artists, you know, because YK, YK Osiris is uh, fighting everybody and shit. And I think yeah. one of his artists had called out YK Osiris, like they were playing around. And, you know, that posted like half a million views on Instagram, Damn. on Say Cheese Instagram. <clears throat> so um, one thing led to another. Gucci went under it. And then this had to be like one in the morning. So I'm like, damn, like, I've never made Gucci. I never made a promise to Gucci, man. Like, I never like spoke to him. We didn't post like anything bad about like him yeah. or his artists. I'm thinking like, damn, like I don't owe him no money. Like we never done business. So, you know, I, I, I've never been in the, you know, in the room with him. Yeah. So you can't say I'm broke. Like, you know, like it ain't like you seen me pull up in like a beat up Honda. So it was like, damn, it sounds personal, but it sounds like maybe I have something that he may want or it's like, it's something internal. So I went back through the archives and I'm thinking like, what is this shit like really like, like, damn. And then I remember, cause we have mutual friends, like one of his friends or my friends, you know, I don't want to really t too many names, too many names, but you know, uh, I had an artist that, that he wanted to, uh, to sign. And you know, one thing led to another, it didn't happen. And then another artist, he wanted to sign another artist that I had, didn't happen. And I think that's what led to the frustration. Okay. Like, cause our I remember uh, Baby Youngin was one that he wanted initially, right? Hey, yeah. I that, mean, that's, that's what the blog said. That, that's what the blog said. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, Baby Youngin for sure, though. Uh, it was a lot of people interested in Baby Youngin, though, not yeah. just Gucci. But Baby Youngin, he's such a, um, he's, so, he's so rare yeah. to where, like, you know, it, it just wasn't, I don't care if you offer me however much money or us. I feel like I wouldn't let him go. Yeah. So, and then, you know, it was another artist after that. Um, so which artist was that? I, I can't, I'm not going to get into that. Was that Lil Loaded? Is that, is no, that no, 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 it's not Lil Loaded. Ah, uh, okay. Cause you got, you said, I heard you had like 12, 13 artists. What's the first letter of the artist's name? I'm not doing it. You're not going to do it? Yeah, and, 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 you know, me and you got a good relationship, yeah. but it's, I don't want to put the artist in jeopardy and then, you know, because this, this industry is real political. You gotcha. know, you throw artists in the middle of it and then they start, people start getting mad at the artists and I don't really just want to throw nobody under the bus, but you know, I just said Baby Youngin because Baby Youngin spoke, on, spoke out on it himself. Absolutely. So that's why I mentioned Baby Youngin, but the other artists, I'm, I can't do that to them. Okay. And that's just me being fair. Like I wouldn't want to be thrown in the middle of something that, um, you know, as an artist and I'm trying to make it out and you know, so... But it's definitely an artist that, you know, it's on my Instagram page, my personal. So you can go look for yourself and see. So how did it make it feel? Because some people say, you know, your response, this is for clout. When you when you went ahead and brought up the whole Black Lives Matter, you yeah. going after another black business. Yeah. This is just you just. Most people felt like you're not going to clap back at Gucci. So you took a passive aggressive route. By bringing the I mean, whole Black Lives Matter thing. Nah, because I see how, and I spoke to you about this before, and on the live, and I said that um, 
I said that uh, if I was white, that I think say cheese would be bigger. And if you go look at, at if you go look at how I'm talking about artists I've never met before, black artists I've never like had a anything like no beef, no nothing. These people will be friendlier with a a, a white blog. And, and and treat me like shit. And I'm talking about an artist I've never posted no negative things about. But is this that black, that, that stigma, how we treat yeah. each other? It's like, you could be in a room, you could be in a room, it could be a white guy and two black guys, and the two black guys is going to be more of a chest out, aggressive. Yeah. And th that's what I meant by that. So when, when I went on live and I said that, you know, damn, like all this shit going on, and you you coming after another black man, putting me down, calling calling my brand broke, broke label, like that's what I mean. But but these are the same people who get on Twitter when a black person dies, and we need to stick together. Where where's that energy at? But it wasn't me copping a plea. I mean, come on, Gucci six four two, like yeah, like why would I? Come on, but I, I'm I'm not pussy at all either. You know right. what I'm saying? But why would I? I was more like. I wasn't even mad when Gucci said that. It was more like a, um, it was more like a, like, damn, like disappointed. I was like more like disappointed, like, cause when he first said it, I'm, it's not registering to me like why he's saying it. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, but it wasn't me like, oh, Sean not gonna go at him. So he said that, like people really be treating me different from like the other outlets. And I feel like because they feel like me, I'm young, they're young, we have a lot in common, so it's no respect there. Yeah. And I, I see that a lot. I'm like, damn, we'll post this popping artist, it'll do 300,000 views on the Instagram page, it'll go crazy, it's good news, he he went platinum, um, just good news, it could be anything, but they'll go post on, they'll go reply in the comments to another blog. Gotcha. And I'm like, damn, like, what am I doing? Like, what is Say Cheese, what is Say Cheese doing? Like, we've broken a lot of artists, a yeah. lot of talent. And I just be feeling like with some artists, it's like that, oh, he's another black man. And it's like becomes like comp a competition with artists and I'll never compete with another artist. Like I told you on the live, I want to link with these guys and build an enterprise and a, build our own... Um, economy you right. know what i'm saying and black i want to build with these dudes but some of their energy be off like you know like and this is weird like we uh, i could post the the same thing other blogs post and it's uh nigga, why you posting me why you fuck say cheese like and i'm like i'm like damn and i'm never upset about it it's just that's how we're raised to, to absolutely that's how we were raised I, I think it'd just be that more expectation of black people we already got it so hard as a unit that when another black person gets something we feel like we're entitled because you know i'm struggling you struggling you yeah. should just give me all of you and that yeah that's not fair but, no, go ahead but that's what i was trying to point to gucci is like like bro y'all don't treat these other white blogs as, as bad as y'all treat the black blog and not even to stick up for academics he hustled for his shit. He grinded yeah. for his shit. I don't agree with everything academics does, but it's like he he supports a lot of artists too. Yeah. And these same artists that he supports, he he'll post their album, or he'll, academics will post, you know, support them, a Meek Mill or anybody. I don't even want to say an artist's name, but he'll support them. And then I'll turn around and see the artist talk about how lame academics is. But y'all won't say that about these other corporations and. Not even just the blogs, but the CN the, the CNNs of the world who post the fake news. Right. And just white media, they don't go at the Tommy girl, the racist girl, and all that shit that talks about how racist, how black people ain't shit. And yeah. just all these white people, uh, news anchors that 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 support Trump. Y'all don't go at them, but y'all go at the black people who post y'all music, yeah. post y'all artists. That's what I meant by that. 